Welcome to this morning's 702 Give interview. I'm Capri and I'm sitting here with Terry from Help of Southern Nevada. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Capri. Tell me a little bit about, first of all, what is Help of Southern Nevada and also how long you guys have been in business? Help of Southern Nevada is a social service um, organization, nonprofit, not religious nor uh, government, and we provide services to um, individuals from seniors all the way to newborn and in between. And as far as you say providing services, what are some of the programs or what are some of the services that you actually do offer to these we people? We provide rent and utility assistance. We provide weatherization to lower the individual's uh, power bills. We provide job training. We uh, provide community alternative sentencing. So an individual who has committed um, a, um, a tick, maybe has a ticket mm -hmm. or et cetera, we provide um, where they can go to 100 other nonprofit organizations in town and do their community service. Nice. And it seems like you gave me a very, very wide age range. So I'm assuming that you guys help a lot of people. and. It, in give or take, in about a 12-month period, how many people would you say that you guys help? 120,000 this last year, unduplicated. And that means we may provide 100 services to them, but it's one person. They come in maybe every month. But per we, count? That's, that's it. We okay. only count them one time. We're not one of, uh, uh, we don't count services. That's amazing. That's a lot of people. It is. So I'm assuming with numbers like that, there has to be just a huge drive behind Help of Southern Nevada. What what would you say is driving the organization? What's driving the organization is the need. And I would say in the last two years, because of our economic downfall and individuals finding themselves um, uh, without jobs, mm -hmm. it's really, it's been a lot more um, on our organization. In fact, Capri, we actually have had individuals who used to donate and are coming now in help. and with their heads down and saying, I'm so sorry, I cannot donate this year. I need help though. And we're providing that help to these individuals as well. Where is help located? We're located um, on East Flamingo and we occupy three buildings. We're excited, we're hoping that we're going to be able to purchase our buildings, and uh, but of course that we need funding for that right. as well. Constantly giving. Yes, <laughs> a absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Great, and um, I know that with any organization in the Valley that's constantly driving to, to help the community, you usually um, have a lot of events going on. Do you have anything coming up soon or anything that we can check out or get involved in? Yes, actually, um, and you can also, um, it, go. your viewers can go into our website, which is www.helpsonv.org, and we have a list of all of the upcoming events. But I'd like to share one in particular, and that's on July 4th. We need everybody to go onto our website and vote. We are one, that day on July 4th, we're one in five organizations. It's not competing against any of your other favorite organizations, but we have an opportunity to win a, uh, a handicap accessible van awesome. from Toyota. So we are really excited. We have a lot of our clients that unfortunately they have to ride the bus. We have to meet them because right. we do not have a vehicle. So um, we're really excited. That's July 4th. Um, vote for and help us out of Nevada. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, is that the most prominent event you probably well, have we, coming no, up? No, actually, um, we're going to have a night with the 51ers, and again, you go on our site. Nice. Tickets are only $10. Um, also, we have coming up our um, golf roundup. That's going to be June 25th, and there's still time for anyone who wants to do a foursome or want to sponsor a tee. Um, we still have time. Great. We also have, it's kind of exciting at the Palms, you can actually get a cabana and um, enjoy the pool. Nice. Um, yes. And all of that, the funding goes to help us out of Nevada. Oh, that's so awesome. So we're excited about that. And then also coming up in October, everyone enjoys, especially uh, the ladies, because get to dress up, wear a hat, and we have our tea at the Four Seasons. Nice. And so that's coming up. But you can look at all of this on our website um, and uh, all of our upcoming events. Great. So I guess the last question I have is that I know that in the Valley, sometimes people lack um, 
information or knowledge about resources. So I want to know both sides of help, and that's one how, if someone needs assistance, how do they contact? The best way is to call a free call, even on your cell phone, 211. And I'm going to tell you we have over 5,000 services. This is a seven day, 24 hours um, a day service. You can, or you can also, when you go onto our website, you can click on uh, Nevada 211, and you can also provide the services um, on your, you just type in, as an example, I need food, and it's going to provide, and I live in 89107, mm -hmm. and it's going to provide every service for food, or utility assistance, it's going to, any of the other organizations, it is like, a hidden secret, this right. 211. And what's neat about it is it's entire state of Nevada. We answer the calls in the south and in the north, another organization, but we are they're receiving they're in the our, same information, in absolutely. And, and but as far as help of Southern Nevada, you guys are majorly in the Las Vegas Valley and, and around surrounding areas. Well, when it's a live operator, so okay. you're going to get a live operator. And so if you're needing a lot of seniors call in mm -hmm. and just say, I, where can I go to get food? That's one of the big ones. And or how can I pay my rent or the weatherization program? Right. And so the operator is going to give them three phone numbers in which they will be able to get this information. Okay. But again, that's and they go to our website, but it's or just dial 211. And on the other side of that, um, if somebody wants to give to your organization, how do they do that? They can go onto our website and actually click on um, donate, and um, we have PayPal. Um, and they can donate there. Convenient. And we mm -hmm. really do need a lot of private donations. Most of our programs that we have, we have federal funding or we have local funding, which we're very, very thankful for. But you also, you need those the, the private um, donations as well. And we really need volunteers. Um, we've been here for 42 years, and we're not going to be going away. Mm -hmm. And there's just so many opportunities. I know my grandchildren, I've been having them volunteer You know, from the time they were four or five years old and they still um, donate and that's what we want to do we need to make sure that our young people that's just a, a matter the same as putting on a hat exactly I must volunteer right. I must give to my community and you start young and just kind of make it a way of life mm -hmm. well thank you so much for coming this morning I really appreciate it thank you that was your 702 give profile for more information go to our website at www.702.com give <music>